As South Africa battles continued rolling blackouts, many in civil society are calling for a solution yesterday. Civil society giving Gwede Mantashe 10 days to accelerate South Africa's renewable energy and storage capacity. The Green Connection says it supports the call by the Electricity Governance Initiative of South Africa uh, for the minister to implement renewable energy as soon as possible. The organization says in an open letter the minister has been given 10 days to heed the call to immediately issue determinations for the procurement of 13,600 megawatts of renewable energy. We're joined now by strategic lead at the Green Connection, Liz McDade. Ms. McDade, thank you. Uh, we all want things to happen quickly, but 10 days, surely that's not even vaguely possible. I think um, we don't necessarily see the electricity being fixed in 10 days. But there are actions that need to happen. And what it means is the minister needs to sit behind the desk and write out a, what is called the Section 34 determination, which is what kicks off the process to start getting renewable energy onto the grid. And we're saying renewable energy because it's the fastest to get onto the grid. Um, it, it's a couple of, of years, and no, we can't have load shedding for a couple of years, and that's not the only thing we can do, but that's the way to go. Renewables are the future, and we really need to start moving that way faster rather than still being stuck in the fossil era. We don't want gas and we definitely don't want offshore oil and gas drilling. And we have a climate crisis which is going to cause more floods and more droughts. And best we actually start acting towards a future. So solar, wind, solar water heaters, all these things can happen. And we know that the government has wasted money storing solar water heaters that are putting them on people's roofs. That must stop. And the, the person who can do that is Minister Gwedi Mantashe. Mm. So, so he's faced a lot of the blame uh, around where we are, even the public enterprises minister um, sometimes batting the ball at, back into his court. But there was a delay. And then with the last bid window, um, bidders were announced and, and Gwede Mantashe's ministry basically suggested they're moving as quickly as possible. So, so you're saying that's not the case? No. And what we are saying is you can't just do like a couple of thousand megawatts here and then wait another two years and do another couple of thousand because that's not the way to drive an industry. And we need to create jobs. And the way to do that is to create manufacturing capacity in the country. And for that, you need demand. And if you, you we're going to have to revise the IRP, but the way we're going to revise it is going to be to move towards more renewables because that's the future. So why not bring forward all the renewables that are currently in our electricity plan, issue a section 34, get the thing going, and that will send an, a message that we are serious about renewables in this country. Investment can come to set up those kinds of factories and that will drive jobs and localization. So, so these, these are spaces that we can do something, give the, the, the um, signals that we are serious about local world development. Yeah. Many people wonder why can't everybody who can produce electricity just uh, plug into to the grid. Tell us what the impediments are right now to renewable um, producers besides uh, the Section 34 that you say the minister has to produce because it's often said you need a stable grid. There were concerns around solar, you know, the sun doesn't always shine, wind, uh, the, the storage capacity, the cost. Just tell us the impediments um, that have been done away with and, and what What's still stopping uh, a, a faster rollout? So Section 34 is for big stuff. So, so, you know, and that's something that the nurse process kicks off. But in the meantime, we have had some barriers removed. And so now it's back to registering projects with NERSA, which is the small ones, the less than 100 megawatts. And I think people are even saying it should be less than 1,000 to bump it up. And that means that you can start putting little plants up and um, generating. Part of the issue is that when you feed into the grid, then the municipalities, and uh, no doubt ESCOM, want to charge something for wheeling the power, it's called, through the grid. And that's become a hot topic. But bottom line, we can solve those ones. They can, they, it, it, the, the issue is political will. We need people to say, we're going to solve it. Let's get cracking. 
and uh, civil society beliefs. We have quite a few of those answers to some of those impediments yeah. too. According to, to the latest of what I've seen, more than six gigawatts of electricity has been produced through this renewable energy program that we do have. The target is to procure 11.83 gigawatts by 2030. Can you just assess our progress um, thus far in terms of that 2030 goal in layman's terms? So basically what the plan says is every year you would put a whole lot of more power on the grid. And, and so up by 2030, you would have a certain amount. But what has happened is that we seem to have got stuck. And so our, our suggestion is rather than doing it piecemeal every, but every year, because we're in this situation, take the whole lot that you were planning to put on the grid by 2030 and start that process of doing it in 2022. So that we, we, we expand and we move and, as I said, we create the signal that we're on the right track. All right. And uh, you say this is all about political will. Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, that was strategic lead at the Green Connection, Liz McDade.